Hi, fourth grade, Miss Austin here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the Me Behind the Mask Craftivity. So what you're going to need are colored pencils in your important paper folder that your teacher gave you. If you flip it open, there is a picture that looks similar to you. And behind that is a paper that says Me Behind the Mask. You will need the writing paper for later, but we're gonna start with our drawing paper. So the first thing you need to do is take this out and you are going to fold it. As you can see, there's some really light lines here. You are going to fold so this bottom line goes up to the top line. So I'm taking the bottom and I'm folding it on the line here. So as you can see, I'm folding across. So now it's just the person without the mask. Next, you're going to go from behind the paper and flip this up. So once again, it's straight. You're taking the bottom and you're having the bottom touch the light line here. And you're going to fold that across. So once again, you have a straight paper. You fold this away. Then you bring this corner up so it lines up with the lines here. That way you have your face with your mask covered, just like me. Now we have it folded. The next thing you have to do is color your whole paper. Let me give you some time to color. Alrighty, I think I'm all done. I colored my hair, I colored my shirt, I gave myself eyelashes. If you don't have colored pencils at home, you can totally use markers or crayons, that's up to you. Am I all done though? Womp womp womp. No, I have to color it so that when I go like this, my other half is colored as well. I'd also like you to color the background, just maybe tie-dye or your favorite color, just so there's a little bit more to it. Why don't I give you some time to do that? All right, so I finished coloring. I colored everything. So I colored the background. I made my shirts match. I made my hair match. This has a mask. I made it blue because that's kind of the color of my mask I'm wearing right now. I colored the background. I have to admit this probably isn't my best work. I rushed a little bit, but that's all right. I tried my best and I have finished coloring. Next, I want you to go ahead and take a pen, a pencil, a marker, whatever you can find. And around your picture, I want you to write some things about yourself. So for example, I opened this up and I wrote a bunch of things about myself so you can get to know me behind my mask. 
So I have teaching, pizza, ice cream. I wrote my name, Miss A. Traveling, I heart Frenchies. French Bulldogs are my favorite dogs. Basketball, shopping, summer. So I wrote all of this around my picture to tell you a little bit about me behind my mask. Go ahead and work on this. Remember, we are going to be sharing these during our first week of remote learning. So make sure there are things you want to share with the class and feel comfortable doing so. Now that you've finished your coloring everything and writing at least four facts about yourself around your picture, the next step is to go in your folder or if you've already taken it out and get out the writing paper that says me behind the mask. Go ahead and write your name. I wrote Miss Austin and I'm going to start with high fourth grade because this is what I'm going to be reading to you all our first day of remote learning to introduce myself. On the next slide I will give you some ideas of what you can write about. Ms. Claver and I would like you to write at least four sentences introducing yourself, telling us a little bit about who you are, some important things about yourself. On our first day of remote learning, which will be Tuesday, we are going to share our pictures with the class and our writing. If you watch this whole video and you listen to all the directions, when you're finished, take a picture of what you created and post it on Seesaw for five dojo points. Remember, the dojo points ends up being money in your bank statement. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to know you behind your mask.